So you want to learn how to flip reset like the pros, but your flip resets look a little bit like this. Well, don't worry. I'm going to show you guys how to flip reset, how to train it, and common mistakes players make when learning all in five minutes. Oh yeah, and before we begin, big disclaimer. This mechanic requires a lot of prior car control knowledge, so if you can't confidently air dribble yet, work on your car control first and come back to flip resets later. Trust me, it'll save you so much time and effort. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Let's begin with a brief overview of what a flip reset actually is. A flip reset is when the center of the underside of your car makes contact with the ball and resets your flip timer. This means you now have an infinite amount of time to flip, and the timer is only broken once you touch the ground, walls, ceiling, or use your flip. The components of a flip reset can be categorized into three main parts. The setup, the reset, and the finish. Now, a lot of guys will say you to just train the setup first, but I think that's a terrible decision. If you start trying to learn flip resets off the wall, you're not gonna have any idea what to actually look for when getting a reset. I too was a victim of training off the wall, and I spent countless hours flopping around not knowing what I was doing. But good news is, I specifically made a training pack to learn the proper way to get a reset in the first place. But before we get into training the reset, there are some super important things you need to know about resets. In order to get a successful reset from the ball, the ball must make contact with the center of your car. A common misconception is that you have to see all four wheels touch the ball, which isn't actually true. You can have resets where you only see two or three wheels touch the ball. However, aiming to get the ball perfectly centered with all four wheels touching the ball gives you the greatest possible chance of completing the reset. Now, to get started, enter the training pack, pop the ball up, and fly towards the ball. In my opinion, the easiest way to first learn resets is to approach the ball forwards and halfway through your aerial, aerial to reposition yourself upside down and tilt down on your joystick right before you make contact to get the ball perfectly centered on your car. Once you can consistently get a reset around every four attempts, you can move on to the setup. Now head into free play and set up how you normally would for an air dribble. Dribble the ball up to the wall at a medium pace and get ready to pop the ball into the air at around this point. However, instead of jumping up to follow the ball, we're gonna do something a little crazy. You want to break ever so slightly a split second after you make contact with the ball, and then jump and boost off the wall to meet the ball. This provides enough space between you and the ball to easily set up for a reset. However, the setup takes a lot of practice to get the timing and muscle memory down, so making sure to get this down will massively help you when trying to clip on kids. Now, for the reset, my go-to method for beginners is to simply boost towards the ball upside down the whole way and tilt your joystick down right before you make contact to get the reset. This is how you can consistently get resets as a beginner, and as you get more comfortable, you can incorporate directional arrow and arrow to get even more consistent. Now, the finish, in my opinion, is the hardest part of the reset. This is because everything up to this point has just been basic muscle memory building. However, with the finish, it requires you to have comprehensive knowledge on how to control your car. Since there are just so many ways your car can bounce off the ball, you have to have extremely solid car control in order to be able to consistently finish off the reset. You have a couple options when going for the finish. You can hold your flip to create more distance between you and the ball, or you can flip almost immediately to rapidly change direction of the ball. Both options have their time and place, and it really just takes time to learn the scenarios in which you use them. To train the finish, just work on car control and repetition of resets. There's really not much else you can do because of how situational it is. Now for some common mistakes. If the ball seems to be bouncing too far away from you when you get a reset, you are getting the reset in a slightly wrong position. If the center of the ball makes contact closer to the nose of your car rather than the butt, you will end up getting a much softer reset where you can finish much easier. If you feel like you should be getting resets but you aren't, you are most likely not hitting the ball with the actual center of your car. Aim to have all four wheels touch the ball. Also, sometimes hitting it too softly can stop you from getting the reset, so make sure you make contact with a little bit of speed. When the ball hits the ceiling or it goes too low when you pop it up, you are most likely not coming at the wall at the correct speed. And finally, if you are making contact too high or too low on the ball, you are not tilting down at the correct time. You will see a lot of problems come from the setup itself, so make sure to work on your timings. And that's how to flip reset in 5 minutes. Drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any questions. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Love y'all.